Picking the right house when flipping takes you a long way to ensuring a successful, profitable project. You want to find a home where things like the window, the furnace, the roof have already been done. These are what I call non-game changers. You don't even want to have to do these things because you won't even break even on these repairs. You want to find homes where you can do the game changers to bring up the value of the home. So look for a home where there are things like the paint is really ugly, dark colors, oranges, greens, burgundies, super dated flooring, um, old cabinetry, ugly light fixtures, closed traditional layout. Painting is one of those high impact renovations that is inexpensive but can dramatically change the look of a home. Opening up walls can turn a traditional looking home into a modern home instantly. If it's a non-load bearing wall, perfect. But even if it is a load bearing wall, it's worth the extra cost of the support beams to open it up. Changing the floor with a modern hardwood or laminate will do wonders to a place. Changing the dated flooring with a modern laminate will do wonders. And depending on the price point, you may either want to use a laminate or a hardwood. But a general rule is keep as much of the flooring throughout the house the same. It will create a much better flow. So even rooms like the foyer and the kitchens, I prefer to do the same flooring as the adjoining rooms. Redoing kitchens and bathrooms are also game changers, but these are higher cost renovations. You don't have to use super expensive cupboards, but you want them to have the same features as the expensive ones, like the soft clothes, molding, under uh, cabinet lighting, um, the garbage drawer. Also adding an ensuite or a walk-in closet to an older style home where the master may not have one um, will make the home appeal to a far wider range of buyers. These are the things that I call game changers and they will be the money makers in a home. Run, run, run as fast as you can from a home that has any structural issues. These are money pits and they can suck the profit out of your flip. Also, a good tip is when you are looking at a house, if it can be used as a rental property that could carry your costs, that is a great idea because we never know when the real estate market will change and it can change overnight. Uh, if you have a house that you can use as a rental, then you can hold it for a while until the market rebounds. Flipping a home can have a lot of challenges, but if you have a good plan and a good realtor in your back pocket, it can go a lot smoother. If you have any questions, give us a call.